What's going on guys? So I'm doing a quick little demonstration with the newer 2021 Apple M1 iPad Pro what the camera and video quality can look like if you're recording them both with the front screen and the rear screen. This is right now being shot at 4K at 60 frames per second with the front camera. You're gonna see exactly how I look. Now, I wanna see also as well a quick little detail on what the stability can look like if I'm walking around holding a tablet of this size can look like. Now, I know with my Samsung Tab S7 Plus, there's a stabilization feature on it and I know that the, the quality on it can actually look pretty dang good. So I'm gonna see also how this holds up it in par along with it. Now this is with the front camera and it's shot at wide mode. All right. Not too shabby. All right. Now this is with the front camera. Again, shot at 4K 60 frames per second. This is not at wide mode, but with arm length being extended as far as possible, it looks more cropped in versus wide mode. And this is what it can look like. I see that I'm kind of a bit more bouncy versus the wide mode. test how do I look all right so now this is the rear camera and I'm shooting it also as well at 4k 60 frames per second this is normal mode and this is not shot at ultra wide I want to see exactly how the video quality can look with this. Now I'm gonna walk. I wanna see how stable it is. Doing a little, I'm doing the best I can to make sure that this thing is keeping me on frame with things. It's a little wet over here. All right. All right, this is now the rear camera, shot again at 4K 60 frames per second. This time I'm shooting it at the wide mode. How do I look? I'm assuming that this is a better image quality versus the rest of all the other camera settings of features and whether it's the front or the rear as you get more of a resolution minus that crop if it was shot not in wide mode I'm also curious to know how the audio is gonna be also as well with the rest of all the videos that's being recorded directly through the iPad but this is what you would expect of a video quality from the newer 2021 iPad Pros that all comes along with the M1 chip. I think you're getting more of a better image quality compared to the earlier predecessors, whether it's the third gen or the fourth gen iPad Pros. This is all I get right now for some screen time footage on the YouTube channel. So if you guys haven't, please click that like and subscribe subscribe button. 
Yeah, hit that bell notification for more videos. <laughs> and until next time, oh, what's that? Uh, we'll see you the next time at the job site. Peace.